everyone. Today on Hello Susan, I want to share with you the finished journal. This is using my Christmas Holly digital kit. And I took pink and green and cream and made this journal together. So let me show you the cover. I'm so happy with it. Um, it is a soft cover. It's a 9 by 6 I used it. Uh, I used an envelope, so it's a soft cover. Covered it with fabric, and that's a twall. And then I put a, a applique up here. I put an applique at the bottom, and I put this uh, poinsettia velvet flower. And I found this bird. I found it at Dollar Tree, and it had a glitter tail and then the feathers. And I thought, oh, that's going to be so pretty on the cover of my journal. So I put that there, and then I also made a card. It's uh, two layers, and I inked up the edges right here and ruffled them a little bit and put a tree and stuck that little card there. So that's the cover, and that's the back, and here's the side view. So I did use a pale pink uh, tie that I put. Um, it's a chiffon ribbon, and I did put eyelets in the cover so that it'll be stronger to hold the the ribbon okay let's see no i didn't do that i'm sorry that must have been the, the last one that i did what i did was i put this ribbon all the way across from there to there underneath this fabric in between the envelope and so it's in there very secure and then it also has this, this uh, ribbon lace right there. Well, let's go ahead and go inside. I think it turned out gorgeous. And I did use lots of red, so don't get discouraged because it's just pink. All right, so here's the inside of the front cover. Isn't that pretty? So that's another part of that applique, and it's 3D. Then I've got some pink lace here and here, trim, and then also some uh, crochet trim there. Some pink ribbon here. This is an applique that's got beads and sequins on it. Pocket with three tags. See, I did bring in some red. That's got three tags in that pocket. This is a, uh, some mesh ribbon that I have, and all I did was just cut pieces of it and kind of scrunched it up to make a cluster. Put a little red bird there. This page flips over. And I did a lot of these uh, resin flowers. And what they are, can you see how glittery they are? So I put resin and then I sprinkled diamond dust on them and put them under the lamp so they would harden. And I used those quite a bit in this book. I just think it made it look so beautiful. And here's a little flip that you can write underneath. Love this ribbon. So it's got a lot of pink in it, it's got a lot of green, it's got a lot of cream, and then we've got pops of red. There's some more of that mesh ribbon right there. And this opens up. See that beautiful angel? And this is a velvet ribbon right here. And this opens up. So you can write a secret thought. And it's got a little piece of trim hanging down and a gold bow. This is a, some net underneath that little uh, kitty cat. That's got four tags in there and then a little bit of cluster right there. Butterfly with some of that uh, mesh trim. And this is an envelope right here and then a journal card. I just love the pink. It's so feminine, isn't it? Poinsettia. Here's another one of those uh, glitter resin flowers. Now, I did do a, a video, just in case you haven't seen it before, where I showed you exactly how to use the resin and the diamond dust 
to make uh, objects like this, and I used it to make butterflies in that video. I'll put a link to that video too, just so you can find it quick. This little girl reminds me of my daughter. Same coloring. And here's a pocket with a couple of journal cards with an applique right there. I just think it's so fun how it goes from pink to cream to green. And now we've got a little bit of red going on. Here's an applique. I do point out all of these things just in case the camera is not picking it up very clear. And see how I'm doing red here now? And that's some um, uh, trim that's got some glitter on it and some flocked little daisies. Here's another one of those glitter poinsettias. It just makes it so special. I do think that it also added a little bit of bulk, but I don't think that the book got too big at all. And see, now we're back to green again. That's a velvet ribbon right there. Here's a 3D uh, trim that's got organza flowers with little beads and then silver flowers right there. Here's a pocket with two journal cards. Here's a pretty applique with sequins. Put a little tab right there. Christmas is love in action. So this, this little page over here is cute. It's got that mesh trim and then a rose and then this gathered organza, which is the same, I uh, mean chiffon, which is this tie right here. A little bit of trim up there and coming down the page. There's another pocket. There's some polka dot uh, tool underneath that one. It's got four tags in it. This is pretty, isn't it? I love it. I just, I just can't stop looking at it. I've looked at it probably six or seven times. Here's an applique. And a smaller page. Let's see, that's Santa Claus. So Jolly is that song. And there's another one of those glittered resin poinsettias. This is a velvet ribbon. Here's some of that polka dot tulle. There's a little ruffle I put there so you can lift that up and ride under it. And that's a, a 3D flower. It's got some pearls and some rhinestones in the center of it. This flips over. And I've got some of that mesh that sparkles so good. Look at this little deer I found. I thought about putting some resin glitter on it, but I did not. Just didn't really know if it was going to hold up with all these little legs being spindly like that. And here's some more of that polka dot tool. It's a 3D flower with the beads and the organza. Here's a belly band. Actually, it's a belly band pocket. So it started out as the belly band and then I added this lace over here that took up a lot of room. And so I just turned the whole thing into a big pocket like that. This is the center of the book. This was one of the backgrounds that came with the book. This is some velvet ribbon. And that's some more of that 3D organza beaded flower trim. And this is a applique, more of that velvet ribbon. Here's a, here's a glittered poinsettia that's different from the other ones that I did. That flips over and that's a velvet ribbon here. This is just some trim that's just like petals or something. I thought that was kind of fun. And put some velvet ribbon here. Let's see. Whoops. My goodness, I'm going to have to fix that. I didn't know that that had stuck. Well, I'll fix it when I get off camera. I'll have to glue that little piece right back on there like that. 
Okay, and this is a small page with a little cluster at the bottom. And it's got a little ruffle at the top with some embroidered roses. So that's bringing the red back in again. And this is an applique with uh, pearls and sequins. Applique for that little bird to sit on. And this is some of that uh, eyelash gimp trim. Did that in brown. Thought that was just kind of an interesting play. There's because there's gold and browns in these this image here. And this is a pocket with one of those resin glittered flowers, the poinsettias. This is an envelope right here. They're empty, or I would take them out and show them to you. And this is an applique right there, and that's velvet ribbon. Let me see what I can do. The little bird is kind of stopping us from getting the book fully opened. There we go. Now we can finish. All right, so this opens up. So you can uh, journal here and here. It's got some of that 3D flower. There's another tab, applique, and I put a little red bird sitting on that one. Love those bells. And then I've got that trim again that's got the glitter in the center of the daisies. That's all on tool. Lots of trims in this one. Okay, here's another one of those resin poinsettias. And this is a little velvet bow and a church. Then you can write inside here. There's a deer. There's an angel with a little uh, tulle polka dot underneath it as a cluster. Now we're back to some red. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And that's uh, some more of that 3D trim with the organza flowers with the beads. Here's a, a pocket at the top. And then I've got the velvet ribbon down here. It's got three tags in it. Those red birds are pretty, huh? I have red birds in Texas, but I, I don't know if they're all over the United States or not. I know uh, Gail said that she doesn't have red birds in Montana. Do you have red birds in your state? Let me know in the comments below. So here's another part of that trim with the organza flowers and beads. It's a pocket with a couple of tags. Smaller page. Oh, look at that. I just love that little snowman. He's festive, isn't he? He's got some of that 3D applique there. This has got an applique in that little pocket. And there's a snow scene with the sleigh. Some more of that uh, glitter trim. And then here's a corner pocket. And you can also pull it down and write inside there. It's got a big journal card on that one. And this right here, you know that uh, trim I've been showing you? Let me see if I can go back to the page. Right here. I took it's a wired rimmed and I took the wire out and then I cut it and pulled on the edge where the wire was supposed to be and ripped that off and that's what I used for this string right here so this is just a little pull out so that you can write some more things on you can do front and back I'll tie that when I get finished look at these little children aren't they cute and there's the applique that's the 3D and velvet ribbon here. And this is a an antique pillow sham. I had one little piece left. When we did the barn swallow journal, I used it as a cover. And then I had this piece left and I thought, well, it's a pink journal, so it'll work there. Looking up at mistletoe. cute little girl there. This has got tulle and netting underneath it, and there's an applique with sequins. Some 
Holly with that uh, mesh ribbon. So if you like pink, you're going to love this one. That's for sure. And here's another pocket with one of those resin glittered uh, poinsettias. And this is the back of the book. This is the cardstock envelope. I did put some of that uh, gold trim in there too. Uh, I didn't put anything in there, so I'm not going to untie that. And then, of course, that's the back of the book. Let me flip it back over again so you can see it. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, well, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you love it. Let me know in the comments below. See you next time. Bye-bye.